All right, so we had a question about debugging JavaScript. This works pretty much like any other coding language. Uh, we can debug it, but we're gonna have to do it in the runtime, so we'll do it in the browser outside of Komodo. So as background, I've got a little project started here. It's just an HTML document with some embedded JavaScript, uh, no page content at all. I've got three functions written to change the background color first to blue, the second function changes the background color to green, and the third function changes the background color to red. Then after I've written those three functions, I just call each of those functions in a row. So we know what the result's going to be here is the very last one is going to take hold. It's going to be the last one that runs. And so pretty much as soon as we load the browser, you're gonna see that the background's red. So let's go ahead and test that. I'm gonna preview in Firefox and click preview. And sure enough, before anything can happen at all, we see the red background. So how can I make sure that my blue and green functions are getting called as well? Well, we're going to use, like I said, breakpoints and uh, do a little debugging here. Each browser is a little bit different um, in terms of interface, but the concept is the same. So with Firefox that we're in right here, I'm going to be going up to Tools, Web Developer, and choosing Debugger. It's going to give me uh, my inspector window down below, the debugging inspector. And this is where I can specify my breakpoints. So I'm going to come to the first line that I want to add a breakpoint on, which is 31, where I call the first color change function. And I'm going to right click and choose add breakpoint. And I'm going to repeat that for each of the additional uh, functions that I call when I call them. Now that I've got those established, I can actually refresh the page. You can see now nothing's happened because it's stopped before this first function even gets called. There are controls for debugging right here at the top of the debugger window. I can step over, I can step into, or I can step out of. So I'm going to use step into. That's going to step line by line through each of the, f the functions that I'm calling. So as I click step in, it's going to refer back to line 17, which is the actual function. Click that and you can see, sure enough, it ran my body background blue. As I continue, it's going to return back down to my functions, keep clicking, go to change to. You have to click a few times here to actually get through it. Uh, click one more time, you can see there it called color change to function, which is green. And then as I continue to click through, get to color change three, which will return me back up to the final function and get to red. So just a pretty simple tutorial to show you th how to uh, walk through a little debugging. You can just uncheck those here in the debugger when you're done with them, stop and refresh, and then it should load the page again normally. So hopefully that helps as you're working through your JavaScript issues and different sets of codes. So that way you can see what's executing when and time everything right so that your apps function the way you want them to.